Much of what exists in a dog's nose is similar to what exists in ours. But in a dog's nose, it works a little bit differently. There is a structure that cleaves that airstream in two. Some of it moves upwards into the dog's nose while the rest goes into the lungs. The bit that goes into the nose enters this kind of bony labyrinth, this very convoluted set of passages. And the olfactory epithelium in the dog is spread around those passages. And that greatly increases the surface area over which the dog can grab passing molecules in that air.